Hello everybody. We're in a brand new Texas Roadhouse. One of the restaurants in the world, Texas Roadhouse. And I've never been to this layout. I've never been to this one. We're in Edison, New Jersey. And the managing partner, Jack, just brought us a sweet little handwritten card and a bag of peanuts and gave us a bunch of free appetizers for the next time we come. There's three of them. A Thanks, bunch. Jack. But so yeah, shout. Like there's three. Shout out to the Texas Roadhouse in Edison, New Jersey. Can I read the card? Yes, what does the card say? Thank you so much for trying our restaurant. We hope your first experience was legendary. And we look forward to serving you soon. We haven't eaten Texas yet. I can't Roadhouse say whether it was Richard legendary. Jersey. So far legendary, what would you say? So far legendary, and they gave us packaged peanuts with the brand <laughs> Texas Roadhouse on. I love it. That is so cool. We Look got these the peanuts. We nice. got... Oh, is it only good at this one? Look how sweet. <laughs> old Bridge, New Jersey. Oh, it's not an Edison. It's an Old Bridge. The next day. So it's 9 17 a.m. right now and what's today on October 31st um, I guess that's Halloween today I have a due date for a court filing and so the sound that you hear in the background is the printer printing out what my lawyers have sent me I'm just still honestly so annoyed about this lawsuit because I have not said anything defamatory and I have not said anything untrue. The stuff that I've said that's arguably untrue was obviously fucking jokes. And right now, as we sit here today at 9.18 a.m. on October 31st, 2022, I have already racked up $60,000 in legal fees. That amount has now been amended to over $100,000 in legal fees. Because Lima, the liar, didn't like that I told y'all that she lied. So, I mean, I have I have now obviously increased my fundraiser amount to $150,000, which is exorbitant. Um, some of y'all were saying that it seemed a bit pricey from what you would have expected things to cost. Kind of same, but also kind of not. Um, I mean... Lima has hired some heavy hitters. One of her attorneys she hired is the dean of a law school. Another attorney she hired is a celebrity defamation attorney. So in order for me to even keep up with these people, I need people who have the same experience and who can operate at the same levels at, as the people that Lima hired. I'm scared. I'm nervous. It's upsetting. I'm upset, but I don't have any choice. The bitch has sued me. And so, I mean, the only other option other than fighting this lawsuit would be to admit to the things that Lima is falsely accusing me of in the lawsuit. And I kind of get the impression that might have been their strategic legal goal to basically make me unable to fight against them so that they get a default judgment where basically I just have to submit and forever and always henceforth it will look as though I actually did defame someone whenever I actually did not. I'm not happy about it and I'm scared and especially now because the fundraiser has $32,000 in it and I need double that 
And that's just right now. I mean, what about when there's more bills? I also hate asking y'all for help. I hate asking for shit and I don't like it. I don't want to do it. Um, I, all I can say is I know now why it's just so much easier to stay silent about corruption and abuse. I know now what they do to you. And I'm honestly not even getting the worst of it because it's so public. They can't really do to me what they probably really want to do. But in any event, I have to read over some stuff. Um, there's a filing date today, due date today. And yeah, I mean, I'll keep y'all updated to the extent that I can. I know some of y'all were saying that it seemed like it was too expensive and y'all wanted to see an itemized legal bill. I have no problem showing y'all an itemized legal bill when the timing is right from a strategic standpoint. If I show y'all my, my itemized legal bill, then that makes it a public record for other people, if you know what I mean. I mean, for strategic purposes, I'm not going to be able to share that with y'all right now. Um, if you've ever been in a lawsuit, you know how much the shit costs. If you've ever been in a lawsuit at this type of a level with this type of lawyers on the other side, you really know how much it costs. It seems very expensive, but at the same time, like, it's just how much it costs. Um, oh, and another thing that y'all had asked, and I have already said this before, but just to reiterate, the money from the GoFundMe is not going into my personal bank account. It's going into a separate bank account, separate from anything else, any of my other money, anything else at all. The only thing in that bank account ever and always is going to be funds that are going straight to lawyers. There will never be funds coming out of that account going to anything else other than lawyers for the defamation suit. Now, some people have asked me what happens if I, if I raise more than my goal and have money left over in the account after the lawsuit's over. At this rate, at, at these rates, literally, pun intended, I don't, I don't anticipate having funds left over and I actually don't anticipate being able to pay for all the legal fees with fundraised funds. Um, but in the case that perhaps maybe there was something left over, I would leave it in that account and I would use it the next time somebody thought they were gonna sue me for defamation. Um, but that's pretty much all for right now. <laughs> Several days later. Hello, everybody. I am just getting in my truck. I'm going to get my hair done today. Got a hair appointment. We do have a wedding coming up, and it is going to be a whole production. There's going to be all kinds of pictures and things, and happenings and I just want to feel pretty and have pretty hair so the place I get my hair done is actually at like a local like beauty school type of thing so I'll be heading over there now and if I have energy after this long appointment then maybe I'll go and run a couple other errands that I really need to get done 
but I don't like to make a whole bunch of plans for myself on a day because then when I don't do the plans that I made, then I feel bad. So I like to set attainable goals for myself. See you later, bye. New hair, who dis? They always blow dry my hair straight whenever I go to the salons um, and like get my hair done. But I got my hair cut and highlighted for $66. So that's why I go to the school. Look, can't complain. It's about the time of the day where I am completely done. Got my fuzzy scrunchie in. That usually means done for the day. Uh, <laughs> I just now edited this video, um, trying on some Indian clothes for a wedding that we're going to in a couple weeks. I'm going to have to get a few things tailored and I actually ruined one of my garments trying it on, ruined it with lipstick. So I'm going to have to try and figure out how to get lipstick out of that. Um, very disappointing. But other than that, I'm just going to probably wrap this vlog up here. I will be doing more vlogs throughout the month of November and December for Vlogmas. And if y'all really like them, I'll keep doing them throughout the year. But I wanted to try something new for Vlogmas. Anyway, that's all I'm going to have for this vlog. Facts ain't defamation. Love you, Mini. Goodbye.